Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. And today I have for you guys, um, it's not a challenge. Maybe it's a challenge, but I'm gonna see. I'm gonna find out if AI technology can help me strike more on the lanes. And I'm not talking about amplified inertia, all right? I'm talking about artificial intelligence. I'm gonna be using chat GPT to guide me through this whole game here. And I'm gonna do everything ChatGPT says. I've tested it out, it gives a lot of recommendations. So I'm, I'm gonna pick the one that I would be least likely to use. Um, and then we'll see where we can go. We'll see if we can shoot 300. We'll see if uh, I break 150. Uh, I tested it out again, like I said, and some of the adjustments are a little questionable, but maybe it's just me being ignorant. But we're gonna find out, see if artificial intelligence is really smarter than the average bowler here. All right, but before we get started, please hit that like, comment, and subscribe button. And without further ado, I'm gonna erase the scores and we're gonna get into this game. I have taken exactly five shots of warm up, and I've got AI technology with me here. Optimum idle. But here we go. I pre typed this in just to save some time here, but I said I'm starting a game of bowling. What board on the lane should I stand on and what arrow should I aim for? Chat GPT says, typically for a right-handed bowler, you'd stand on the approach board to the left of the center around boards 20 to 25 and aim for the second arrow from the right, adjust as needed based on your personal style and lane conditions, all right? Chat GPT says, blackjack bowler 20 to 10. 20, no guarantees I hit 10. Again, I only had five shots of practice. Yeah, definitely didn't hit 10. But we struck. We're gonna give it another go. So far, so good. Contrary to my other videos, lanes are not fresh. League season's over, so they're not oiling them. So, probably worked out for me there. So far, Chad GPT, not too bad. How funny would it be if I went to go bowl a serious tournament and I just used Chad GPT the whole time? I feel like someone did this kind of video before. Was Darren Packy maybe? I don't know. But I just wanted to find out, right? All right, so we're gonna talk to our coach here. I have the first two strikes now of the game. How do I continue to strike? Consistency is key, they say. Try to replicate your previous shots. Maintain your stance, grip, and release. Focus on hitting your target arrow consistently and adjust based on how the ball reacts. Stay relaxed and confident in your approach. All righty, some sound advice there. Consistency is key. I thought I was supposed to rely on the lanes being walled, but here we go, consistency is key. Stay relaxed, but confident. <laughs> I'm just gonna laugh really hard if we somehow shoot 300. By the way, if you're wondering why I'm wearing a hat, my last haircut, absolutely atrocious. Probably saw in the last video, you know, just a total bang job here. So, CBJ, Columbus Blue Jackets. All right, we're gonna try and throw one more strike. Maybe we'll leave something, and then we'll talk to our coach again. Uh-oh. Chat GPT for the win right now. All right, here we go. I now have the first four strikes and I'm beginning to get nervous. How do I maintain my shot so I can bowl 300? It's natural to feel nervous, but try to stay focused on your technique and breathing. Visualize your successful shots and trust in your abilities. Remember to stay relaxed and maintain your rhythm. Avoid overthinking and just focus on one shot at a time. You're doing great. That's exactly what he said. He, she, it, you're doing great with an exclamation point. But there is a lot of, um, a lot of validity of what it said there. That pretty much encapsulates stay in your process, all right? 
Here's a little um, tip nugget for you guys. Stay in your process. It could be anything as long as you're doing everything the same way. All right, you guys see how I wipe the ball off every time, blow my thumb hole, get a consistent routine and rhythm before each shot. And that's what all the best bowlers in the world do. And that's how you bring your mind into the same spot before you throw every shot. It's like shooting a free throw for a basketball player. They go through the same routine, you know, two dribbles, pop, same thing. Here we go. We're on the front four. <clears throat> Chat GPT, come on now. Halftime sip of Baja Blast. I was kind of counting on missing, so um, Chad GPT can give me some adjustments. But Chad GPT might be goaded. All right, one more, and then we go back to talking to Chad GPT. Come on now. Oh no. All right. Back to Coach GPT. I now have the first six strikes, but my previous shot went high for a strike. How should I adjust? If your last shot went high for a strike, it might indicate that you might need a slight adjustment to your target or your release. You could try moving your target slightly closer to the center or adjusting your release to create a smoother roll. Pay attention to your ball speed and rotation as well. Keep experimenting with small adjustments until you find the right combination for a consistent strike. You know, I kind of like that um, moving my target more to the center. Is that what you said? Coach, we get slightly closer to the center. Center of something. So I'm actually gonna move my eyes left because I do feel like I've got a little bit of shim there. Feet are the same though, because Chad GPT didn't say I could move. We got the front seven. This line just needs to hold up for another five shots. Again, standing on 20. Eyes are now at about 11, 11 and a half ish. Oh, oh, that's a big break. That's a big break. Back to coach. I now have the front eight strikes, but barely carried the 710 split. How should I adjust so I can bowl 300? Congratulations on the front eight strikes. To adjust after barely carrying the 710 split, consider making a small change to your angle of entry into the pocket. You might need to move slightly to the left on the approach and aim slightly further to the right on the lane, allowing the ball to come in at a better angle for a more powerful strike. Keep your focus sharp and maintain your confidence as you make these adjustments. All right, so pretty much what I gathered from that is I need to go back to getting it maybe a little bit steeper. So I'm gonna move one to the left, but I'm gonna keep my target kind of close to the same, around that 11, 11 and a half. So it gets a little bit further right, maybe gets a little bit more angle of entry. Oh, that's awful. Guys, I'm on five shots of warm-up too, and I got the front nine. <laughs> All right. I now have the front nine strikes. And I'm super nervous. <laughs> How can I throw the last three? <laughs> I'm not nervous at all, by the way. Feeling nervous, but the possibility of a perfect game is completely understandable. Try to channel that nervous energy into positive focus. Yeah, that's a good tip for you guys out there. Stay relaxed, breathe deeply, and trust in your preparation and technique. Visualize successful shots and focus on executing each one with confidence. Remember, take it one shot at a time and enjoy the moment. I'm doing great with an exclamation point.
Hopefully a marginally better shot. That is so heartbreaking. I love a snow nine on the front nine strikes. I'm devastated. How do I spare the nine pin? I understand your disappointment, but don't let it overshadow your accomplishment of nine consecutive strikes. To spare the nine pin, move your target slightly to the left for right-handed bowlers. And aim for the center of the pin, focusing on hitting it directly. Use your spare shooting technique and maintain your composure. It's still a fantastic game. That would not be my spare shooting technique, but coach says move our target more towards the center of the lane. That's what we're going to do. All right, still standing on 21. I'm going to move my eyes to like 12 and a half. And I'm actually gonna throw it harder just so I pick it up. All right, last shot. We went front nine, nine spare. How do I adjust to strike after a stone nine pin? After leaving a stone nine pin, you might want to consider making a small adjustment to your approach or your target. Try moving slightly to the left and aiming just a bit further to the right again. This adjustment can help ensure your ball enters the pod with a bit more angle, as if leaving a nine pin didn't have enough angle. It increases my chances of striking. Keep my focus sharp and stay confident in your ability to make the necessary adjustment. Guess we'll go another one left. And a snapper 10, guys. <laughs> All right, well, we got to thank Coach, right? I bowled 279. Let's see what they have to say. That's an incredible game. Congratulations on bowling a 279. Even though you narrowly missed a perfect score, it's still an outstanding achievement. Celebrate your success and use the experience to continue improving your game. Well done. Well, guys, that was, it was pretty fun, actually. I didn't think I was going to bowl that good of a game almost got to 300 if we can get a hit there first ball in the 10th um probably would shoot 300 but maybe i should have gone a step further and uh and made an anticipatory adjustment and consulted my coach but 279 is nothing to sneeze at but thank you to chat gpt for this wonderful game getting my wednesday started off beautifully um but yeah if you guys want to <laughs> try it out um I, I wouldn't recommend it during a tournament, but um, I would say most of those adjustments were pretty decent. Um, the nine pin, shooting the spare, questionable, but you know, Chad GPT, results don't lie, 279, right? But anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this kind of video. If you guys wanna see me use other softwares or other things to help me bowl a game, <laughs> comment down below, let me know. I don't know what else is out there. I'm very ignorant to the world of technology and such what is out there. This was a lot of fun. Maybe I try and do some other things with ChatGPT as well. Maybe some other challenges, some double challenges. Let me know down in the description below what kind of ideas you guys have for the channel. But that is it. Thank you guys again so much for watching. Hit that like, comment, and subscribe button. Links down in the description below for merch and for jerseys, all that. You know, the vibe. EFX, use code MITA or CHVI for 10% off at checkout. I'll see you guys in the next video.